Good morning, guys. It's minus 15 degrees here in Novosibirsk, Siberia, and I'm about to do a traditional Russian oh. bath, which is called a banya. If you guys remember in Turkey, I did a traditional hammam, which is a Turkish bath, and the guy was slapping me, and it was a pretty crazy experience, and I've heard that something similar is gonna happen here in Russia. It's gonna be frightening, it's gonna be crazy. Wish me luck. Oh, pain. Body of Drew is happier. Guys, I am so excited to announce that my Gisco app is officially out for iPhone and Android. It is a place for travelers and aspiring travelers to connect, make new travel friends, join real life meetups, and get inspired from each other. I launched my community through Mighty Networks, a spectacular all-in-one platform for community building. They have all the features I love, such as photo sharing, live streaming, asking questions, and you can even see who is online near you and send them a private message. This is so cool. It's like an exclusive social media network Network for you guys to meet each other and get real travel advice. The Mighty Team not only has a great platform, but they really understand how to build thriving communities. My goal is to make the Jisco app the most exciting travel space on this planet, and we are on our way with 15,000 members from 162 countries. If you download in the next few days on the link below, you'll be entered to win this free Sony ZV-1 camera kit in the box, an $800 value. You can also check out Mighty Networks on the link below to learn more about about this amazing community platform. All right, who's ready to see me get slapped? Let's go. A banya is an ancient ritual in Russia that dates back thousands of years. For the Russian people, it's a way to relax and cleanse. But for first timers like me, it might be the most intimidating, extreme, and uncomfortable way to take a bath. The first step is to get fully naked, but I kept my underwear on to save you guys from too many distractions. Then the process involves getting whacked by leafy and thorny tree branches oh. while laying on a wooden bench inside of a blistering hot sauna. I'll let the story carry on from here. Here goes nothing. My name is Drew. German. German. My name is German. German. Nice to meet you. We will получить a good experience in Russian sauna. Yeah. Just don't kill me. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, let's come do on, it. Let's on. do it. On the wall here are all their awards displayed, mm -hmm. and the guy here told me that this banya got third best in all of Novosibirsk. So this place is legit. It's time to get naked. I'm gonna put this little robe on. Something tells me that this is gonna be painful. Amazingly painful. Say goodbye to my comfort life. Robe is on. Let's do this. You gotta love this music. I've now been in Russia for about two weeks, and this is the most Russian I have felt on the trip. What are these? These quick little pretzels or bagels. This is the moment where I sit in silence while he's getting ready and pray that I'm gonna make it out alive. So that's Vojtia. That's your face of intimidation right there. He says he's ready for it. You ready for me? What are these? <laughs> Is that from a tree? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. From a birch tree. Oh yeah. It's like cilantro. Needles. I'm going to lay on that. Okay, it's very sharp. This is my first time doing this, and it's no, very intimidating no, to see no. you hold these like different kinds of trees out of buckets. For for you, uh, you must uh, take uh, take off. Put you yeah. take off. Do I keep the hat on? И наши мысли они усиливают. Мы друг друга усиливаем. I wish the the best health for myself. I wish health for my family, friends, and loved ones in Diana, and uh, for a long, happy, healthy life. Now I got shoes on my feet. Shoes. Yeah. All oh, that water's cold. I don't really know what's going on, but it's hot in here. A little discomfort. A little discomfort. <laughs> oh man, I'm fainted in there. It is hot. 70 degrees Celsius is like 100 and 
Is it 70 or something Fahrenheit? It's a good, good uh, temperature. Good temperature. So, here? You're doing great, Drew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> he's like, he's like, come on, dude. What are you wearing? Uh, your face here, yeah. your legs. Face, face down. Face down. Oh god. Down. This is the first for me. <laughs> oh, okay. This is uh, smells strong. Oh god. What's what the uh, Russian dubinka? Oh god. <laughs> Track your blood. Understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sначала, сначала. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, he's getting the bone right there. Oh yeah, right there. How are you feeling? Good, painful. Okay. Whew. Okay. Now I need a. Uh, uh, to close Drew's head, and uh, after that I uh, working with ba uh, with, with body. Oh, being covered in branches. Oh, no, no. This kind of reminds me of a ritual I did in Gabon in West Africa. Goblinka. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm hot as. Oh yeah, He's turning up the intensity now. Oh, the man is strong. I'm being bitch slapped in Russia. It feels so damn good and bad at the same time. Okay, let's go. 40 minutes. It's very long time. Drew, how are you comfort? It's good, man. Oh god, alright. Well, oh, that one's spiky. Oh yeah, it's like needles. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Woo. Oh yeah. You can feel a uh, little discomfort, <laughs> but it's very good for your health. Uh -huh. Oh man, those thorny needle things hurt a lot more than it looks. <sighs> I gotta wait here for like five minutes, and then the next step continues. Oh! Oh, a little cut. Oh man, it's ice. Oh, oh, jelly needles. Ah. Is that snow? I was not expecting that. No warning was given <laughs> well, whatsoever. Was <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh. Cold, cold water. Yeah. On the body. It's inexplainable pain because it's like extreme heat and extreme cold. You're just laughing over here, having a great time. You have needle marks really? all over your body, yeah? What's happening to me right now? And then, believe it or not, there was more beating, but this time with the dreaded wooden stick. Oh. Watch the balls, please. Oh, pelvis, there it is. Yeah. Oh, the nipples. A lot of numbness happening in this procedure. Ow, ow. Mm. Oh. Never in my life been whacked in the forehead with a wooden stick. <laughs> Watch the nipples. Okay. Mm. Pins and needles, baby. Oh, pain. <sighs> the body of Drew is happy. Not happy. Pain, pain. <laughs> body of Drew is pain. So this is what it's like to get a Russian banya. This is it. Totally different than Turkish hamam. And what's interesting is the two countries border each other, so for such neighbors, they have different ways of life. That's why I travel. I can predict the next step, freezing cold water. Is it funny to see me in pain? It must be. It's a road to life and health. I've never felt like so weaker. <laughs> Big breath. Oh, it's a warm one. Oh, 
Oh, boy. Oh, holy crap. That was one of the most intense pains I've ever had in my life, going from extreme hot to extreme cold. When I did the polar plunge in Yakutsk, when it was minus 40 outside, my body was already cold, so it just got colder. But this one, <coughs> I can't describe the pain. My body's in shock. I think it's almost over, and I just want to say that life begins outside of your comfort zone. And I always recommend people to get deep in the culture, to do things that you wouldn't normally do, to meet people you wouldn't normally meet. And that's really where the beauty of travel comes. And this has been absolutely outrageous, painful, enriching, and would I do it again? Absolutely yes. Thank you guys for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, life is crazy. Hey Drew, you look, uh, you look really cozy there. I thought it was over and then he's like, come here, get naked. So I got butt naked, facing up, um, <laughs> so you can imagine the scene. And then he just wrapped me with this green towel and he goes, different tre treatment, you stay asleep. So now I guess I just have to chill like this. <laughs> I'm Drew Binsky and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel down there if you want to see more adventures from every country. And below you can find my second channel where I tell stories about the most inspiring people in the world. Also, I'm giving away for free all my best travel tips and secrets for finding cheap flights on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.